in the step three, what we are going to do is we are going to assign colors, right? So we will do some post processing and we will basically assign different colors to different steps and we will cre create a visual representation for this problem to see what colors could be allocated, what four different colors could be allocated to different steps to solve for this problem, right? So again, what we are doing here is we are using, you know, the uh, code here, which is assigning colors to different, you know, uh, uh, different nodes which has been represented as a different step. So we are calling essentially this function, this is nx.greedy underscore color and we, there we provide out the resistance matrix information that is out there and that helps us in essentially providing the color. So this is an extra code which is essentially uh, used for visually representing the, um, the results that we have got, right? So we will do that and let's run this code, okay? So we stored this and you can see in the bottom the results is what different colors could be used. So the four different colors are represented as zero, one, two, and three, okay? So it says that Missouri could be colored using zero, Tennessee should be colored using one, right? And zero could mean red, one could mean pink and so on. So these numbers represent four different, zero, one, two, three represent four different colors that you can choose of your choice. Okay, so the result that you get out of this line of code, which we have in this code block right here, right? The code block that you can see right here is essentially a coloring scheme uh, that allocates specific colors to a given state. So Missouri MO has been allocated zero, Tennessee TN has been allocated one, Kentucky KY has been allocated two, Arizona has been allocated two. Those are the color that has been assigned to each of the steps that is there using the code block. Now we can use this result and essentially do a plotting of this in four colors that we have. And that is what we are doing here. And as we discussed at the beginning of you know, uh, Python that if you want to do any plotting, then matplotlib.plypart is a very, very good, you know, sort of a set of library that you can use from Python to plot different aspects, right? So we will be using and importing that library and we will be using that to visualize the uh, results of the problem that we are discussing right now. So let's go ahead and you can see that we have imported this library and then we have, you know, wrote a code block and this code block takes the input from the previous code block. So the input, which is basically the integers that has been allocated to different steps, the zero, one, two integers allocated to states like Missouri, Kentucky, and so on, that will be input to this code block. And then the output will be essentially a graph that will color the nodes of the graph representing each of the states that is out there. So let's execute this code block. And again, the code template R, G, B, Y, those are the four colors that we are choosing. And then, you know, essentially we'll be visualizing how this looks like. So if I run this code block, right, you will see, you know, this is the graph using the, you know, um, uh, the location and using the coloring scheme, right? Uh, these are the different colors that could be allocated to different states, uh, different states of the United States. So if you follow this scheme, and if you follow this coloring scheme, then, you know, we will be able to color this map where no adjacent states are going to be of the same colors and so on. Okay, so this is an important, you know, uh, illustration of how eigenvalues problem could be used in many different cases. In this case, specifically, we focused on a coloring MAC coloring problem, and we found out the bound, which is the number of minimum colors that is needed to color each of the states. It turned out to be in the range of three to six, right? And then from there, we moved on. Since we had number of states was not equal to even, uh, we moved on to the nearest highest value, which was four and four was sufficient to color all the states of the United States. And this is how we can use eigenvalues uh, of the adjacency matrix to solve for important class of problems that we might have, okay? So again, from this, what we can say that the map of the United States could be colored using a minimum of four different colors, and that's the minimum number of colors that we can use to solve for this class of problem. With that, thank you very much. And I would also like to invite you to join in in the next set of lecture and module. And in that lecture and module, we will be focusing on understanding concepts related to principal component analysis and singular value decomposition and how to do them using Python programming language. Thank you once again.